this girl, you've never gotten a fight, like, ever. So, like, you should probably, like, stop. What all do you want from me? ARs and them two, two, three. Fucking around with me, you see I'm hot, I'm fine, Y'all, excuse the mess behind me, but it's no time to clean when you have to, you know, tell a story. What's up, y'all? I'm back with another video. I am back. It's your girl, Two Federal K, aka Carizzi. And I'm gonna try my best to explain the story that you've all been waiting to hear. I had to get my hair done to explain this story because I had to come on here and let y'all know what's tea. <laughs> Cause old girl tried to play with me and my bestie. Do not do that. Okay, I'm just joking, y'all. But so disclaimer. Before I start this video, I just want to say if you did not watch Jalen's video, go on Princess J and watch her video of her side of the story. It will be in the description box below. And the reason I'm saying this is because she said a lot of key details that I will not be re-explaining and stuff. So like you have to watch hers in order to understand mine, because I'm gonna be, I'm not changing nobody's name, I'm gonna have the same characters. So second disclaimer is this video is not to bash, nor to bully, nor to do anything to anyone, it's just to tell a story and it's for entertainment purposes only. With that being said, let's jump right into the video. So y'all, I'm not gonna be saying no names per year, but I will tell all that you did. You guys probably don't know this, but when I first moved to Maryland, Jalen was kinda like, one of my first friends. So like, we were like this as soon as we became friends. She did have another best friend though, but they stopped talking over different reasons that had nothing to do with me. Me and Jalen became like really close, like so quick, like, girl, how is that your best friend already? Oh, it's because, yeah. Miss Girl, which is our third, which was our third person, the person I'm talking about, the toxic girl, is gonna, is Miss Girl, okay? Miss Girl became Jalen's friends first in like March or April because they thought that they didn't like each other over uh, Miss Girl dating Jalen's brother, but that wasn't the case. So they like, you know, they started talking, becoming cool and it was like, cool. So they became friends at a, at a track trip that I was not a part of, so I was not there. So I was not aware that they were becoming friends and stuff. So they got to be cool or whatever. And then when they came back and stuff, it's like, now it was three of us. Like now it was three of us. I didn't have a problem with it being three of us because I always thought Miss Girl, I always thought Miss Girl was pretty. I used to be like, oh yes, pretty Miss Girl, she's so pretty, right? But she was really quiet. Like she did not talk to no one. Like during track and stuff, she would just sit by herself and look like, you know, just by herself. So when Miss Girl became a part of our group, it was like the best of times. You know, when you first with your friends and everything lit, yeah, everything was lit, y'all. We was friends for months and months and months. So, though we were friends, it was some type of disagreements throughout the friendship. So one, I just wanna say that Miss Girl's personality did not match mine and Jalen. I am not saying that's a problem, I am not saying you need to change yourself to know, but I'm just saying that the type of person she is, it's like, like one, she don't like taking videos and pictures with us, and that's fine, I don't say you have to take pictures and videos with us, but she also is a negative person. Like, she don't like us being around people. For example, y'all know our twin best friends, Kuba and Beke? Yeah, one time when we was trying to hang out with all of us and stuff, she was like, no, don't invite them, I don't wanna. Girl, <laughs> I love Kuba and Beke, so like, I was just like, Miss Girl, Miss Girl. We still invited them and she still hung them, even though she was talking about them. All my other friends and stuff, she did not like being around people. And I don't know if it's because she don't like being around people or it was another thing that she just liked it just to be us three. And me being a social butterfly that I am, I like friends and stuff. Like, you know, I have a lot of friends and stuff. Not really a lot of friends, but like a lot of people that I hang out with. So with that being said, she was just negative about us being able to hang out with other people. For example, we went to Nationals 2019. Yeah, we went to Nationals 2019, and for some reason, me, Jalen, and Miss Girl were in a room together. Um, we begged for that to happen, and the coaches hooked us up, like, period, put the three musketeers in the same room. So when we got to Nationals, right, it was like we were being distant from our team, 
right? And I am so, so sorry to our team that this had to happen because that caused a lot of downfall in our team because we were really distant during nationals because, you know, we were just with stuff and she didn't really want to be with our team. Mind you, me and Jalen, we did go to our team's room and have fun with them and stuff. We kept saying, like, let's go, let's go, let's go do this, let's do something else. And at the time, we didn't really see it as, you know, nothing. We just saw it as, oh, she just don't want to be with the team. But it's like, I'm pretty sure I would have had 10 times more fun if I would have just went with the whole team. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's a whole nother story time. So during the summer, we would go to each other's house. Also, Miss Girl always, Miss Girl and Jalen always either come to Jalen's house or my house. We have never been to Miss Girl's house. We do not know where Miss Girl lives. Miss Girl's always come and see, always sleeps at my house. She, we always go to Jalen's house, but we do not know where Miss Girl lives. So that I just want to say that. And I'm not saying that just because we're friends, I have to go to your house and stuff, but it's like, we thought we were like this. Where you live at? Anyways, with that being said, we did not know where she lived, but I don't care. I let her sleep here. We were, we were just close, you know? We went to parties together. When school started, we was like the best of friends. Like you would have never thought, yeah, without, you wouldn't see Miss Girl without Jalen. You wouldn't see Jalen without me, like period. Like that's how best friends are supposed to be in my eyes. Like, you know, you're always supposed to be there for each other. So around December, Yes, around December, it was my, well, it was all of our, I guess you can say all of our, because Miss Girl really didn't like these. So there's these two twins, not Kuba and Benke. They're girl twins. I don't know if they want their name in the video, but they're two girl twins that are my closest friends. So they're having a birthday party, right? And they invite me, Jalen, and Miss Girl. But Miss Girl, I don't really think she really likes them. So she's debating if she wants to go or not. But in my head, I'm like, Honestly, I'm going, but you don't have to force yourself to go if you don't like them. Like, why would you go sleep at somebody's house that you don't like? What are you doing? What are you doing? Stay your ass home. Stay your ass home. So Miss Girl was always negative about that, saying that she was gonna stay with Jalen and stuff. Mind you, I'm like, you can stay with Jalen. I'm gonna be live with my other friends because Puri is their birthday. I'm not coming out for you. I'm coming out for their birthday. Yeah, so she was really distant and stuff around that time. So my birthday is February 1st, for you guys that don't know, February 1st, okay. Now, from the period of December to February is where things just started crumbling down. So, if you've seen in Jalen's video, yes, I just said her name, y'all. If you see in Jalen's video, Miss Girl always argued with Jalen, like, always argued with Jalen. She would never argue with me because she know better, let's be honest here. She tried to text me the other day trying to say, Oh, I'm all quiet. You know I have a mouth, so don't even play it. Because every time I come at you, you was... I don't do that arguing stuff, y'all. I don't care if you're my friend or not. I'm not about to sit here and argue with you. Boof, I put my hands on you. Miss Girl always argued with Jalen. I don't know if it was because she was younger. I don't know if because she didn't like her. I don't know what the issue was, but she would always argue with Jalen. And me being both of their friends, I don't pick sides, but it's like... I knew Jalen longer, so the bond was always gonna be stronger. Like, if you and Jalen fell off, me and you were most likely gonna fall off. Because, to be honest, the only reason why our friendship, me and Miss Girl, lasted that long was because of Jalen. Like, Miss Girl, if Jalen was not there, we would not have been friends because, baby girl, no. Between the time of December to February, Miss Girl became distant with me. And it became distant because, like, we didn't really talk as much. Also, Jalen and Miss Girl had a class together. They had lunch together. So I barely seen Miss Girl and Jalen a lot around school. I always, they always meet up at my locker and stuff. But like, they were always together more. They had classes together. So, you know, I have other friends too. So that's like, whatever. But me and Jalen did, we were on the same track side. So me and Jalen stayed tighter. With that being said, I was falling off with Miss Girl and I wasn't like, like I wasn't gonna force anything. Like we talk, we talk. If not, we don't. But I did invite Miss Girl to my birthday party and we came and we had a great time. Like, it was like I forgot that she was being distant at that time. Like she came, she did my hair, actually she did a nice job on my hair. She bought me gifts, all that stuff. Like Miss Girl and I were friends, right? Pre. Me and Jalen made Miss Girl this box and Miss Girl gave me this box. Like we made each other birthday boxes. Like that's what friends do. Every time Miss Girl will argue with Jalen, I would always try to ease the situation, ease it down, and try to talk to Miss Girl. 
But no, Miss Girl's always grumpy. Miss Girl's always, uh, but she's never, honestly, if we're being completely honest, she ain't never grumpy with me. Cause let me tell y'all this one time, it was me, Jalen, and Miss Girl. We were at a hotel in New York and we ordered a box of pizza, right? So we are starving, like that pizza took so long to come. So you know when you're hungry, you get mad. So we were all mad, all three was hungry, just like mad, we didn't wanna talk to nobody. We had an attitude with each other and stuff. We like, bro, where this pizza at? The pizza finally come. How many, it's eight in there. So it's like six left. Oh, I think Jalen grabbed three, right? And I grabbed two or whatever, but it was more in there. And she's all getting upset about the slices of pizza that are left. Like, she's like, bruh, da, 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 and her and Jalen go back and forth. And I jump in like, Miss Girl, either you're gonna eat this pizza or not, because at this point, what are you crying for? And she's like, all right, I'm gonna just take this pizza and then just walked off. Like, cause me, you were hush. You were silent at that moment. Cause you knew not to play with me. Every time her and Jalen argued, I would always try to fix them. Because one thing about them too, this is on both their parts. They always argue and then the next day they're back friends, like nothing ever happened. So I paid it no mind that they were always arguing. Like I'd just be like, here they go arguing again. Here they go arguing again. And they would, Miss Girl will always say some low blows to like hurt you. It's like, you're my friend. What are you saying that for? So, you know, Jalen always felt like, Miss Girl, you're always doing too much. So. Now this is the big, this is the big, this is the big part. After my birthday, um, I wanna say this happened like a little bit before my birthday, I'm not sure, but I was in class. I was in my math class and I got a text from Miss Girl and Jalen and they were like, oh my God, we just seen a new boy in our school and he looks so good, like he's like the top. He's number one in the whole school, like this, he looks good. So in my head, I'm like, who y'all talking about? Like, new boy, like what? What new boy, right? So after that day, we never saw new boy again. Like, we went weeks and we never saw him again. I don't know if he came there to transfer, I don't know if he just walked around the school, but we never saw him again. And then, Jalen helped Miss Girl find his finsta. So they found his finsta or whatever, and then me and the new boy had each other on Finsta, so you know, I would screen record his Finsta and send it to Miss Girl because she asked me to screen record his whole Finsta, and that's what I did. Like, I did not want this boy. I have a boyfriend, miss. I did not want this boy. Anyways, so, so there was this one day where he was in my class. New boy was in my class or whatever, and I'm like, oh my God, y'all, he in my class, like, whatever. So we start talking about him because, like, he starts being friends with people that we know, so it's like, you know, clicking, whatever. I did not know that Miss Girl had the hugest crush on him. I did not know. She kept that between her and Jalen. As you can go and see in Jalen's video, she told them, she told Jalen not to tell us. So I was not aware that she had the biggest crush on him, right? So, with that being said, one day I was at lunch with my friends and Jalen, and we were talking, and I was like, Did y'all see the new boy though? He looks good for some prom pictures. Like, I feel like we could really take some bomb pictures, but I did not want him. You know, going to prom with somebody and liking them is two different things. I just wanted some pictures. That's all I needed was some pictures because y'all know your girl like pictures. So we find Miss Girl in the hallway and Jalen tells her like, oh, I'm a um, really trying to be new boy prom day. But we, we're joking, but like, because I honestly wouldn't go to prom with him, but we're like, we were joking at the same time. And she took it to heart, got an attitude and walked up them steps. Like Miss Girl, your attitude, throw the whole person away. Her attitude just blew, blows me so much. It's like, stop being negative because you're gonna get nowhere. Anyways, so she walks away and I go home and when I get home, our other friends are talking about the new boy. They're saying, oh my gosh, the new boy this, the new boy that, the new boy this. And so she leaves the group chat and we're like, Miss Girl, why did you just leave the group chat? And she texted me and Jay privately and was like, I don't wanna hear about them talking about the new boy, like that's my crush. And then she starts going off about how me and Jalen did her dirty, how like, girl, you never said you liked him. Kept calling him her crush. He doesn't know your name. You don't even know, she didn't even know his name or where he came from. We only saw him, like we just, she, actually I didn't see him. She saw him one day and claimed that as her crush for the whole month. He never saw you again. To be honest, if me or Jalen went smacking him, it's like he was not yours to begin with. Anyway, so she went all, we started arguing in the group chat and she left the group chat and we all argued and that's it. And I looked up the definition of a crush, I'm gonna put it right here, and I was just like, this is the definition of a crush. So you're telling me that every time you see this boy, your heart be racing and butterflies be in your stomach? No, because you do not know this boy. You cannot claim, claim boys you do not know. 
after that situation, me and Miss Girl did not speak. Like, her and Jalen did make up the following, like, two days, because it happened on a Friday, and they made up on a Monday. I don't know. I was not there for that. They, Cooper and Beckett attempted attempted to try to make me and Miss Girl talk and I was just like, no, I'm not talking to her. I don't have nothing to say to her. She's childish. She's always wanna argue over a boy. Like, I do not like that boy. Go have him. But if all you care about is a boy, baby, you got bigger things to worry about. So I'm just like, I'ma just leave it as that. We don't have, we don't ever have to talk again. I don't ever have to see you. I do not see you in school because we don't have class together. So it's like, what's the point of me being friends anyway? Also, I'm a senior, I'm leaving. What's the point of re, rekindling a friendship when I don't care. Fast forward to present day, okay? Cause I have not talked to Miss Girl since then. That happened like the end of February. Me and Miss Girl have not talked. Thank the Lord of Jesus. That negativity had to go. Jalen made a video yesterday about Miss Girl and Miss Girl watched the video, decided to spam Jalen's comments. Mind you, nobody knew you're at Miss Girl. If we're being completely honest, I barely posted you. I, if we're being completely honest, two federal K, okay, you were never on that page probably once. Carizzi, you were never on that page. Like, mostly Jayla posted you. So, if I make a video, nobody's gonna know who you are. Second off, everybody thinks that it was about me. Miss Girl, you made it about you when you commented on Jayla's post. Now everybody know that it was about you and now everybody knows you're at. I'm just saying that you set yourself up. Anyways, so she started commenting on Jayla's stuff and all that and I was just waiting pinching for her to comment on something of mine, but she did not, cause she know better. But she texted both of us and it was like, I know both of y'all Addies is nuts since y'all got so much to say to get clout. We're like lucky I link it, leak it, so let me know what's up. I don't know if she meant to put leak, but if you're leaking somebody's address, baby girl, you might as well go back to kindergarten. Like don't even go to high school. Don't even go to high school with this. Leaking somebody's address? Do I look like Beyonce? I want my own address on here. Who gonna come up in here? She thought I was scared. So now, now Miss Girl wanna act all big and tough because she's all the way in up in West Bubble. Like she's 50 minutes away from us talking all of this stuff. Like she expects me and Jay to go up there, waste my money, and drive up there just to fight her. <laughs> I'm not scared to fight you, but I'm not driving nowhere. On. So after she texts that, I put in all caps, what are you rapping about, move. She just wants to be heard. She like, y'all talk so much shit for the socials but never got nothing to say in person. Make it make sense. All you gotta say is pull up and it's nothing. I'm like, first of all, I do say everything I have to say in person. So please stop with the lies. Cause she is lying. Cause she knows she never has mouth in person. Never has mouth in person, this girl. So that's when Jalen come in like you're mad with the clown emoji and laughing at her because at this point you're a joke. We take you as a joke. Like we're not taking you serious. I was not taking none of this serious. So I said like girl I did not post anything about you on social media because I did not post anything about Miss Girl. I did not say anything about anything yet. I'm about to but I didn't. So she like so fast forwarding we're arguing and all of this stuff and she keeps saying that to pull up and stuff and i'm like i'm not pulling up to fight a gunk like and then she wants to post about me y'all i'm gonna put this right here she posted about me trying to say i'm bothered by her no i'm using you as entertainment i'm not bothered by you you're entertaining you like a clown you think somebody's bothered no mm -mm. i did it for the last let me stop let me stop so, after she posted that, I said at me next time. Cause don't post me and you're not gonna add me. Mind you, I don't have you on no social medias. Like, girl. When she's saying it's nothing for a got a big mouth all of a sudden, wow, love the energy. I'm like, all of a sudden, Miss Girl, please. My mouth was never shut. That's when Jalen's like, she always had a big mouth. You're the quiet, remember? Cause she is like, I don't even know what to do with you. I should put your at in here so that everybody can come at you. But you know, I'm not gonna do that because of legal, because she threatened to take this into legal actions. But Miss Girl, nobody said your name. So what are you gonna tell the court? They called me Miss Girl. And so Jalen texted her and was like, you can call a lawyer because I know what to do. Like it's, it's never given lawyer. So what Miss Girl did was went and deleted all her comments and stuff. You threatened us, you wanted to fight us. We, we never said we wanted to fight you. So with that being said, if you want to take it to legal actions, what's up?
I'm not about to wrap y'all up and stuff. That was just my side of the story. That's how I did with it. I didn't really have a side because I never really argued with Miss Girl. She was just always toxic, like always negative. And I ignored her because I was like, this is not gonna last and I don't see it lasting. And I'm not coming to this school next year, so I don't care if it lasts. Okay guys, I just wanna say thank you guys for watching. I hope this story time wasn't too long. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because you guys love my story times I can see. Comment which story time you want next and if you want individual ones or whatever it is because I have a lot of stories to tell. And for you, Miss Girl, if you are watching this because I know you are, have a wonderful life. And keep gunking around. Bye.